first things first. I don't see an Emmy yet. How about Miss Ava? Would you would you be our substitute? Okay, go for it. Participate, be respectful, on time, microphones muted, include full name and chat, stay seated, eyes on me. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you for being the best class ever. Please remember, today is a special day. We are going to, we're going to try to get through the whole lesson as quickly as possible so we can do our game at the end. Miss Adeline, she's going to choose our game for us because she is the awesome Zoom promise keeper of the week. Oh, someone's coming. Hold on. And then we have Leon for amazingly detailed responses. No one word sentence, or sorry, one word answers from him. He is giving so many details, guys. It's so important to do that. Frank for working hard and keeping up with all his assignments. Back to you. Uh, who's that? Ms. Ava, go for it. What's today? Ava, you ready? Thursday, February 2023, 16th. February 16th, you got it. Nice work. Okay, oh. hello, Miss Viviana. Hello, Isaac. Welcome aboard. Now let's do our birthday celebrations. Thank you for celebrating Desiree and Miss Madison's birthday all month long. My son's birthday is in two more days. He's going to be 25. <laughs> okay. Our learning objective today <clears throat> is explore the addition of, no, 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 that's only part of it. We're going to explore the subtraction of whole numbers from another whole number, three digit numbers. Yes, I know you're saying we've done that so much, Mrs. Cruz, but I've noticed a few things and I'd like to go over them. And I wanna make sure that you are using all the strategies you can that best help you solve three-digit subtraction problems. Our other part is to complete your math facts with fluency. Just like in reading, where you read fluently, you can, you can work out your math problems with fluency too. Next steps, um, actually, we're going to be doing some new stuff coming up next week and the following. Um, but as far as your learning goes, you should be able to demonstrate how to solve a problem in different ways. I need you to prove to me that you can solve it this way and maybe a different way. It shows you really understand what you're doing. Okay, time to discuss. Okay, so Mrs. Cruz sometimes needs a little help too. I wrote this problem. I solved it, but I think I need some help. Does anyone have, I want you to study that for just a moment. And does anyone have any suggestions, thoughts, concerns over how I solved this? Oh, I see some hands. Ruby, what do you notice? I noticed that you didn't put 15. Oh. So when I borrowed, tell me a little bit more. When you borrowed a 10 from the six, you didn't, you just crossed out the five and you didn't put 15 next to it. Okay, all right. Uh, let's see, if you take one away from six, does this turn to 15? Six minus one is five, right? So maybe you meant this guy right here. Is that the one you mean I didn't do 15 on? No, you didn't. Yeah, I agree. Totally right. Okay, thank you for that. Guys, Mrs. Cruz made a boo-boo. It's okay to make mistakes as long as you can learn from them. I forgot to say, I, I just showed that there's one here, not 15. I didn't fully regroup the ones place. What else? What else? I see other things. <gasps> Mackenzie, go for it, Mackenzie. For when you borrowed from six, you needed to borrow from three. You didn't write 13 at the top. Oh, isn't that interesting? Take it one step further. I see that five wasn't big enough, so I had to go next door. I crossed out three. What should three have turned into when I took Twelve. one? Yes, I didn't even regroup. 
and show that there were two left in the you should, place. Yeah, you should have done 12 on top and then yes. you would have crossed out 12. Or, mm -hmm. No, Let's then you would have crossed it. Then you would have put two on top and then crossed out two and then put 12. So now does that change the answer or difference for my tens place? 12 minus seven, is that six guys? If I forgot to regroup, then I might have the wrong answer. What do you think, Addie? It should be a five. The six in the middle should be a five. That's right. Now speak, very good, thank you. Because I didn't regroup fully, I put 13 instead of 12 here. Should have been a two and then carried over with the other 10 to make 12. Yeah, 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 I did a lot of mistakes here, but there's one other thing I noticed. And can I talk to you a little bit about this? This is what I've seen from you guys. This next thing we're gonna talk about is a common, common boo-boo that we can learn from. Notice where I wrote my answer. What's wrong with how and where I wrote my answers? Ooh, I got two, three hands. Asa, can you explain? You didn't put the not. You didn't put the a three, six, or nine in the right place. The nine is supposed to be in the tens. The six is supposed to be in the yes. one. Three is supposed to be in the ten hundreds. Yep. I agree. Thank you, Asa. Thank you. Thank you for noticing that. Here is an issue that I have seen with your responses, guys. Yeah, you, 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 you. Sometimes you guys shift your answers over and don't line them up perfectly. When you get to five, six digit numbers, multiplication, division, that's really going to mess you up. So when your mom drives home, does she park in the neighbor's driveway? No, she parks in your driveway, your, her spot. Now, the same is true here. Look at nine, he parked himself. This nine should have been in the ones place. He parked himself in the tens place. What is a good way to make sure that we line up the numbers? What's, what's one little trick that I've used to line it up. Ooh, ooh, let's see. Addie, I see a big hand. Go for it. You can line, you can put a line straight down. So the nine is supposed to be in the ones Sorry. and the tens <laughs> were and the six was supposed to be in the tens yep. and the three was supposed to be in the hundreds, but you didn't do that. The nine parked itself in the tens. It's supposed <laughs> to be in the one. Right. Could you imagine if you if your parents came home and they parked three streets down? That would be so crazy. So yes, drawing a line straight through like a giant raindrop will help you line up your numbers correctly. Make sure that the line goes all the way down. Guys, I'll I'll say it one more time. This is really gonna mess you up. If you don't learn to line up your numbers when you start doing multiplication and division. All right, I'll meet you over in the, in the Nearpod. Let's practice for just a few problems. I'm not going to do the entire Nearpod, but let's walk you through parts of it, okay? And then you can practice on your own. So let me stop sharing and meet you over there. Are you guys ready? I hope you're ready. All right. Um, here it is. All right, I already have zero friends in. What? <laughs> I hope that's not right. Let's see. Look at that. I have no... It's not right oh. because I'm in. I'm in too. I see five. I see five. Good I'm work. I'm in too. Awesome. All right, here we go. First question. How comfortable do you feel using multiple strategies? That means you could do it this way, maybe on a number line, or I could do it this way, Ooh, maybe a vertical equation, or, you know, which ways could you, ooh, place value, Matt. Can you do it different ways? A, I've got this. I can, I can perform and solve three digit subtraction problems using multiple strategies and explain. Boy, that's a big one. B, I need a little more practice. 
totally fine. C, help, I need instruction and support. That means you're gonna sign up with me for a help session, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I hope that means that. Let's see how we are feeling. Very nice, thank you. You guys can show me with your fingers. A, if you didn't get a chance to get into the Nearpod, A, I've got this. B, I need a little more practice. C, help, help. Awesome, thank you, thank you. All right, let's do it. Solve the subtraction equations using the open number line. That's a, that's a strategy. First, place the green circle on whatever number is the part and then count on to the whole. When you're all done and you have determined the difference, put your red circle on the answer. You can use your drawing tool and any strategies that might help you complete the equation. Okay, what, what, Mrs. Cruz? The well, first thing I want you to do is look at the little table chart right here, right under the equation. It says 440 minus 230. Some of you are automatically gonna, you're gonna grab your uh, vertical equations and that's how you're gonna solve it. But wait, this one says, don't do it that way. Prove to me that you know how to do it on an open number line. It says to start on, start on the part and then count up to the whole. So I'm gonna walk you through this first one best I can. If you're looking at my screen, the first thing I notice is the smaller number is part of the whole number. So I'm gonna start on the smaller number. And I'm gonna to try to figure out the difference between the smaller number and the bigger number. What's in between those numbers? I need to count up. Okay, so everybody did that yet? Start on the part, 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 230. Now, what's my next step? Remember, I was gonna walk you through it, so I hope you're doing this too. I need to get to 440. How do I do that? I think it says I need to add some hundreds. Let's add some jumps for hundreds. Wow, there's a hundred. Put a little hundred on there. And we are adding back up. We're reversing the equation. 230 goes to 330. Am I there yet? No, what do I need to do? Anybody? Do I jump another hundred? Anyone? Oh, Leon. Should I jump another hundred? Yes, you should. Okay, what would that bring us to? 230, 330. Leon, what would it bring me to? 400. Nice work, man. You rock. Okay, so now I've, I'm so close. Am I there yet? What is something else I need to add, Asa? You need to add two, who more? Two more, ones, tens, hundreds. Hundred. If I did that, would I go past my whole number? I'm so close to my whole number. Look, 430, I need to get to 440. If I add two more- Then I need to jump four tens. Four tens, let's see, 430. 440, 450, 460, 470. I went past it. I went past it, didn't I? I have to stop at 440 and that took me to 470. So let's see how many tens it takes to get to 440. Hmm. I need four tens, I have three tens. I have three tens, how many tens do I need to get to four? I have to, I only Oh, one more, excellent, and there it is. So let me go ahead and write my 110, and I'm gonna squeeze my little whole number right there to show that I'm there. Okay, okay, she did it. Now what do I do? I put my whole number, and this dot is so big. <laughs> Are you seeing that too? Is your dot like huge? Now I need to count. What's your last thing to do? Isaac, I have jumped 
two hundreds and one ten. What is the last? Yes, very good, Asa. The last step I need to take is to count my jump. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Who's telling me? Come on, guys. I need some hands. Ooh, I know Asa. Wait, wait. Let me see if someone else can answer. Mute until I call you. Anybody else? Count your daddy. Jumps. Count your jumps. Thank you. I should have so many hands raising. You should be raising your feet and your hands to tell me you're not done until you count the difference. How many jumps it was. So let's do it. Everybody on mute and count the jumps. 100, 200, 300, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 800, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 900, 
410. Okay, Ava? So I'll start at 860, and then I'll go four 100s back, oh, and it takes me a second to do it. Mm -hmm. And then you put a um, minus 100 in them. And then you count back and then that will be um, 760. And then it will be um, 660. And then um, 560. And then um, 460. Awesome, she took away her hundreds, then what? Then you do the tens. Okay. And then you take away five tens. Okay. Well, it's hard because the number line is really small, so I had to look it's aside. Okay, I know, I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you write four four hundred ten. Four hundred um what do you call it again? Four, I think. Yeah. Well, you got to 400, so you went to 450. Let's pretend this is 450, 550, 650, 750, 850. And we're so close to 860, we only need one more 10. Boop. And now we count the jumps. 100, 200, 300, 400, 410. Ah, oh, you were right. Wow, McKenzie. Awesome job, Ruby. You got those hundreds, you nailed them. Now, wait a minute, here's the mystery letter. Okay, we got to finish solving. Thank you, guys. All right, who wants to do E? Who wants to do E? E, 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 E. Asa, pick your partner. Who would you like to help? Um, Ruby. Oh, Ruby? Okay, you got it. All right, you and Ruby solve 820 minus 350. While we're waiting for you guys, you can, let me just give the next partner group. Addie, who's your partner gonna be for A? Your A for Addie. <laughs> uh, how about Emmy? All right, Emmy's not here, is she? Uh, I forgot she went to the fair. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, choose your partner. M Mackenzie. Okay, and how about L? Who wants to do L? Ooh, Leon. Yeah. Leon, L for Leon. Who do you want to help you with L? 640 minus 350. Um, good. um 64. Wait, who, do you want, who do you want to help you? Nobody. Oh, you have to pick a partner, otherwise I can't let you do it. Okay, fine. Viviana. Viviana! I love partner time. Okay, you two solve 640 minus 350, please. Best you can. What? You are the L group, okay? All right, back to E group. Who did E? Asa and Ruby? All right, you can talk us through it. Yeah. Asa, Ruby, go for it. Do you know the answer to, is it Ruby? Asa, did you pick Ruby? Yes. Okay, I don't hear anybody talking. Tell me how to solve it, quick. Three, eight minus, if you take away three from eight, it makes, it makes, Five, and okay. then, and then if you take away two from five, then 
it will be then it's three so it has it's well it's so we know it's eight and we know it's five three so and then if you take away zero from zero it's nothing so i think it's Five hundred and three. Okay. All right, Asa. What's your answer for that? Talk about it. You subtract two hundred equals five. I'm gonna put that over and here so you can see it. Twenty. Him minus fifty equals thirty. So. So the I can I ask you a quick question? Can I, Asa, can I stop you there for a second? Can I ask you and Ruby a question? Yeah. What place are you supposed to start when you are subtracting or adding? What place cries and screams the loudest and says you need to start with me first? Is it hundreds, tens, or ones? Ones. Why did you start with hundreds then? You read it like a book forward. But what happens when you do that? You might miss something. You might miss a regroup. Watch what happens when we go in reverse and do our ones place first. Show me with your hands. Zero minus zero is? Zero. Okay. Can you put up two fingers? Quick, put up two fingers. Can you pull off five? No, you don't have enough. You can't reverse it. You can't put five on top now. No, that would be like you moving into your neighbor's house. You're like, I live here now. Uh-uh. You have to do it in order. So if two's not big enough, where do we go? We regroup. Yeah. So two's got to go to next door to his brother, borrow from his brother right next door. Excuse me, can I have one of yours? Sure. I'll go down to seven and you can have my 10. So now two becomes And that will equal... That will equal well, well, four, 14. 12 minus five? 12 minus five? 12 minus five. Sure, we're reading straight down our translation. 12 minus five equals seven. Yes, okay, now wait, Ruby. It's back to Ruby. Look, it's not eight minus three anymore. It's a good thing that we went in reverse. We realized we had to borrow. And so our hundreds place is smaller now. It's not eight minus three, it's seven minus three. Do you happen to know what seven minus three is? It's four. Yep, our answer is not 530, it's 470. And so E, 470, magic letter there it is okay guys we are ready for the next group who wants to do a i mean who's doing addy addy is doing a okay addy okay i got a paper to show okay. you good 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 okay so who was your partner oh because how about as i said mackenzie okay go I, for it um solved it while you were doing um with when you were doing it with ruby um so first i started with um 920 then i took away zero from zero which left with zero then i took and then I tried to take away nine from two, but I can't do that. So I regrouped and took one from nine, and now nine is 800. So then I had 12, and I took away nine, and that left me with three. Okay, and wait, then... stop. wait, wait, stop there. All right, back to Addie. Addie, finish it up for us. She got us a great start. Okay. Then when I scratched out, oh, I'm just 
So talk to you about the hundreds. Okay. The hundreds are in the hundreds and eight hundred. It's a minus so in in eight. Eight minus one is seven, and that, and I knew it was seven hundred thirty. That's what I have on my board too. I already Woo! erased everything else, but seven hundred. Excellent. It's probably job. backwards for you, but you did great. No, it looks perfect. Thank you so much. You guys did a great job uh, going in the correct order ones place, then tens, then hundreds. It's almost like doing it backwards. And I like your vertical equation. Did either of you do it on a number line or place value, Matt, or did you do vertical equations? I did um the like the hundreds, like the flats. I did the oh, rods, did the place, flats, tens, tens and models. models. Yeah. Good. That's I did the vertical equation. Awesome. Thank you, guys. All right, Leon, coming back to you and Viviana. Can you guys tell me how you solve 640 minus 350 and what your answer or difference is? You can unmute Viviana and Leon. Viviana, did you get your answer? Uh, Viviana, we're both smart, right? Yes. You are. What's your final difference? Oh, my final difference is... Uh, uh, 640... Yes. 390... Well, I can't... Say it again, Viv. 290. Okay, I heard 290. But I Viviana, said, did you do it on a number... Did you do, I'm coming to you, Leon. Did you do it on a number line or in vertical equation? What was your, uh, how'd you solve vertical it? Vertical equation. You did too? Okay, okay. All right, Leon. She said 290 is her answer or some. What was yours? Mine was 629. What was your difference? You just told me the equation. What was the difference? 640 minus 290. 100 minus 300. I mean, what am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Poor Mrs. Cruz is trying to hurry and it's hard to write. I have to put it in reverse. Okay. So. Let's see if she got it right. Let's see, Viviana did her, her um, one place okay. first. Zero minus zero. Can't take away five from four. And you can't flip the numbers around. So four fingers, I don't have uh, enough. Why not? Borrow from my brother. Four becomes 14. 14 minus nine, what's that? 14 minus, 14 minus five is nine. Okay, I can say it right. And now five minus three. Put up five fingers, nibble off three fingers. You have two left. <gasps> Viviana, you rock. Great job. I Leon, rock. is that the answer you got too? Yeah. Do I rock? If you got that answer and you solve that problem, then you are a rock star. If yeah. You need any help, guys, I'm here. Okay. I'm totally here for you sign up for a help session and i will walk you through it until you're confident what's our oh, uh, what's our mystery word guys say it out loud go good lake lake very good all right let's wrap it up let's be done you um are going to there's more problems for you to solve we might go back to this another day Here's one for your hundreds, tens, and ones. Matt, you could solve it using hundreds, tens, and ones. There were, uh, oh, here's a quick quiz and then I'll let you go. When writing a vertical subtraction equation, when you're writing a vertical subtraction equation, what do we start with? What number goes on top? The greater number, the smaller number, or the least number? 
Think about when you're subtracting. What number do you start with on top? Greater number, smaller number, or least a number? What number do you subtract from? <gasps> if you said greater, yeah, you have to have the greater number, otherwise you don't have enough to subtract. When solving a three digit subtraction problem, what place value do we always start with? Do we start with the hundreds? Do we start with the tens? Or do we start with the ones? Ooh, I see great answers, look at that. Yeah, we always start with the ones place. We gotta go in reverse. I know, I know, you always wanna read forward, but in math, do the opposite, go backwards in case you need to regroup. When we borrow from our brother, when we borrow from the next digit, what is it called? Sharing, regrouping, or solving? You know that one, don't you? When we borrow, is it called sharing, regrouping, or solving? We are on question number three. Ooh, everybody's getting that right. It's called regrouping. That's right. Very good. True or false? What is the answer to a subtraction problem called? Is it called the difference? True or false? The answer to a subtraction problem is called the difference. True or false? We are on number four. The difference. When you're subtracting, you're finding the difference. Is that true or false? Three right answers. Uh-oh. Sum is for addition. Difference is for subtraction. So it should be true. It's called the difference. When you look for the answer for a subtraction problem, we call that the difference. Question number five. Marnie had four hundreds, zero tens, and five ones. What is the value of her number? Four hundreds, zero tens, five ones. What's the value? Is it 450, 400, 405? Ooh, look at all those right answers. Ooh, I'm just waiting for two more friends. Mackenzie and Ruby. Oh, Mackenzie got it. Ruby, do you know the answer? Four, you could just read it right like this. 400, five. C. Yep, that's the value. Last question. Was that the, no, that wasn't the last question. Go back. The last question was, Kellen tried to solve the following problem. 125 minus 250, <laughs> what would you tell him? A, the greater number should have been first. B, always start with the ones place. Or C, use a number line. Kellen tried to solve the problem. 125 minus 250, what would you tell him? Greater number should go first, start with the ones place, or use a number line. Ooh, this one's a little tricky, isn't it? 125 subtracting minus 250. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Asa, you got it. Mackenzie, Addie, I see answers from Isaac. Good work. Yes. What's wrong with it? 120, you can't take 250 away from 125. You need to subtract 250 minus 125, we need to flip those whole numbers around. The whole numbers, 250 goes on top. Okay, I think we're good, we're good. How comfortable do you now feel following today's very short lesson about using multiple strategies, different ways to solve three, di three digit subtraction problems? What we didn't get to was using the, um, the, te the place value models to practice that. We did have a friend who used it. I think Mackenzie used it. So I know that she can. Using multiple strategies helps you check your answer and it also be helps you become more fluent because then you can choose the one that you think works the best for you.
If vertical equations isn't your favorite, you use a number line or you use a place value mat or some other strategy, you need to be able to use, to, to know how to do it and then use different strategies to check. Great work. Okay, if you're still in the B, uh, we'll do another lesson coming up. I'm sharing the Nearpod with you to practice on your own. And also I might revisit this in a couple of weeks so we can practice and see if you've gotten even better. Okay, loves? I sure do appreciate